Join us as we have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with the most influential people in Hong Kong. Watch us every Friday on the Hong Kong International Business Channel. This is Friday Beyond Spotlights. How do you see the development uh, with Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area and then relating to the revitalization and the renaissance of the local, national or international film industry? For me, my single goal is to make a movie where most people in the world can, can see the film. To me, that is um, more important than winning an award or or having the greatest uh, reviews. But as a Chinese filmmaker, as a Chinese actor, I see still many obstacles for us to overcome being Chinese. Why don't we look internally? After all, we have the biggest market in the world, right? Why not focus ourselves into our own markets? In my last 40 years of my career, Hong Kong industry, film industry, had, created and gave, given me this, this great opportunity. So obviously, I want to continue to be able to pay back to our own community mm -hmm. and able to use my 40 years of experience to continue to make films, not only represent Hong Kong, but as well as represent as a Chinese person, as a Chinese filmmaker. I haven't been directing for over, over a decade. So my latest projects uh, I directed and produced it. It's Tino Bubble. If you guys like Yip Man, hopefully you're gonna like this as well. Join us on Friday Beyond Spotlights to go behind and beyond the spotlights.